Hi, welcome to Pendulum Dowsing and Tarot Reading with Lyman Holton. So you're here today for your daily tarot reading. Go ahead and run your cursor along the timeline at the bottom of this screen and the zodiac sign you fall under will pop up and that's where your reading for today is, all right? So without further ado, let's get started. Are you ready? All right, Aries, let's see what's going on this day for you. So, I've already given the cards a good thorough shuffle, so I don't need to go too deep into that. Put the cover off here to the side. <coughs> Let's see what we've got. Okay. So these are short daily readings. Longer readings, of course. If you would like a personal reading, private reading, you contact me by my email at the top of the screen. And you'll get a longer reading. All right. So let's see what we've got going on here. Let's put out some cards, see what we have. Okay, we got here two, three. All right, let's see what's going to come up here. So we've got, all right, we're starting out with the Herophant. Herophant, I should say. And so the Her Herophant is telling me that uh, you can expect coming up against or be watchful for. Uh, powers that be, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Whether they're uh, family, friends, could be from the company you work in. Okay, now there could be a clash of belief systems here that uh, you'll help you clarify your own position. So you need to look for that, all right? Now this is going to be kind of orthodox, not something crazy, just kind of normal things, but yet sort of a clash going on here with another person. So ultimately, you're going to make your own decision and find a way to incorporate your ideas into the existing structure, right? But that could be a challenge for today. Let's see what the next card's got going here. All right, we're looking at the Ten of Cups. And for the Ten of Cups, now this card talks about a Kind of a happy family card, represents joy, contentment, that sort of thing. So, you know, that's really good for the upcoming day. Very positive, good thing. I think everyone loves family and wants to be good with them. <clears throat> now, this could also be friends. It doesn't have to just be family. But you're going to be in this realm of serenity where it's easy for you to get in with the, the people, the things that you love, and really enjoy them, right? And that's the way you're going to go with that. So you're going to experience a little bit of bliss in that way. A little bit of a perhaps headbutting here. But with family and friends, good time. Nice time. So what do we have for card number three? Okay, we're going with the Ace of Wands. Now, here we're talking about creative beginning, right? The birth of an idea. Uh, could be a raise, a promotion on a new job, that sort of thing. And uh, perhaps starting something like a new enterprise or new challenges coming up. Let's put it that way. Because we're just going day by day here, right? This isn't a long-term prediction here. So uh, you're going to feel like you've got some boundless energy, a lot of enthusiasm, optimism. And that's great. It's a signal to proceed with whatever has sparked your interest and excitement. And that is what Aries has coming up here. Now, take to heart what chimes with you and what doesn't. Well, it doesn't, because this is a general reading for many people. Again, personal readings are different. They're longer, more in detail. So, you have a great day, Aries. All right, Taurus. Doing a Shuffle of the cards here. I've already done the major shuffle. Don't want to waste your time watching me 
shuffle cards, but I shall do some here. Okay, let's see what we have here. Now I'm going to draw three cards. Now this is a pretty fast reading. It's a daily reading. If you'd like a longer one, of course, uh, use the email address you see at the top of the screen. Contact me and uh, you'll get a longer, better reading. Okay? All right, so let's see what we have here. First card we're looking at is the world. Now remember, we're talking about just the day. The day that's coming, right? That's all it is. So this isn't something that we're looking out for over a year or whatever. Doesn't mean it can't extend out. But what I see coming up for you is that uh, you're getting ready to reap rewards and move on to a new phase. Now again, we're talking short term here, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you've been working on uh, some kind of projects, something that seems like it's never going to end, well, this day is going to be good for you to probably come to a conclusion, find that the ending is coming to, uh, uh, n it's near, right? So don't assume that your ultimate goal in life has been attained. Uh, this card simply symbolizes peak experiences where you move a step closer toward becoming who you really are and what it is that you're focused on. So a very positive card here. The next card we're looking at, we've got the Five of Swords. Okay, now the Five of Swords tells us that an empty victory is at hand. This means that you can win, basically win the battle, but probably not the war. And when it's over with, you're gonna kind of look at things. <clears throat> Perhaps you're having an argument with uh, someone at work, a neighbor, something like that. But even though you win, you feel like, was it really worth the effort? Were you really the bigger person in this situation? So, you know, it's something to think about. What, what, what are you up against here? What is it that you uh, can kind of like, let slide and not invest too much energy in because there are better things coming up and you don't want to uh, burn bridges, perhaps? We might be talking about that here. Something to think about there. And on the third card, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Ace of Pentacles is all about a positive reward for hard work. So you've been hammering away and uh, you're, you're going to find that this is a harbinger of fresh starts. Now you can move forward with this. It could be in business, finance, whatever it might be. It might be simply get your lawn more fixed and you can mow the grass. But uh, your hard work is going to pay off. You're going to reap some rewards here. So that's something to look forward to in that. Now, what you also want to do is understand that the element of the body connects it to physical health, proper diet and nutrition. So apparently you need to consider these things in your life and perhaps a little tweaking is something that's going to behoove you in those categories. So all in all, it looks to me like you've got a good lucky day coming up. It's going to work out well for you. Now here, you just need to do a little soul searching and think, is there something I'm fighting against that I'm really just wasting my time on? Even if I win, does it actually matter? And that's all I've got for Taurus. So you have a great day, Taurus. All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on for you this upcoming day. So I'm going to shuffle the cards some here. Already shuffled them quite a bit, but we'll go through it some more just to make sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we're going to bring up three cards. Let's see what we get. What do we have going on for Gemini? Gemini. Okay, so let's see. Okay, now let's turn over the first card, see what we get here. Okay, first card up is Chariot. Now this is a fast reading. If you'd like something longer, a little more in depth detail, uh, of course, uh, look at that email address above and let me know. We can arrange a better reading for you. So we've got 
So we're just going out one day here, right? See what's coming up quick. And it looks to me like uh, you're kind of on a hero's journey here. So it looks to me like with some ambition, determination, you've got some youthful energy to move ahead with, right? Uh, you're, you're the, uh, I guess you call it the charioteer who you can harness your power and talents and forge ahead. Now that's really good. Apparently you've got a burning desire to succeed. Now we're talking one day. So perhaps you're going to cap something off that you've been working on for a long time, or perhaps it'll be somewhat of a smaller task just for the day that you need to get through. Let's see what's next for Gemini. Okay, here we go. We've got the High Priestess. Now, the High Priestess is, uh, mm, we're looking at institution, inspiration, uh, that sort of thing. Her wisdom burns from within, right? She piles her craft in secrecy and her knowledge resides in her heart. So there's a lot of, uh, I guess you could say passive and she's receptive, that sort of thing, guards the gates of unconsciousness. So what that means to you is that you, you're going to be turning within yourself and kind of observing what's going on around you. You're going to have some decisions to make here, right? And I foresee them being good decisions. You're, you're in the right frame of mind for this on this day. Let's go on to the next card. See what we have. All right, so we're looking at the Wheel of Fortune. Now, let's see what the Wheel of Fortune is going to do for us. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but it's unusual to have three major arcana cards in a draw. So that's, that's kind of unusual for you. So I'd say you're gonna have kind of an upbeat, busy day coming up. Now, the Wheel of Fortune, now this reveals your connections to luck and destiny. So as I mentioned earlier, you've got some good luck going on here. Now this compounds that, right? And, uh, you don't have to remain locked in one place. You're gonna have some kind of a risk coming up and it's favorable for you now if you should decide to take a risk that this might be the time to do it, right? You're gonna take the plunge or you can. You're in a position where if you do, this would be a good day to do it, right? Luck rides with you, okay? And uh, it's a good day that uh, the things you have set in motion to pursue. So, good for you. It looks good for you, Gemini. All right, and that's all I've got for you today. Okay, Cancer, let's see what's going on for you today, all right? Now, or this upcoming day, I should say, in case you're reading this a little before midnight. So, the cards have been shuffled quite a bit. I'm gonna shuffle them just a little bit more here. And we'll get going with what's coming up for cancer. So, mm -hmm. three card draw. Okay, got them laid out. Now, first card, what's coming up here? All right, let's see what's going on for you. We've got the 10 of pentacles. Now, this card's known as the Wall Street card because it focuses on finances, money, income, right? So uh, look for uh, the possibility of financial prosperity, okay? Good foundations for home and family life, that sort of thing. Pretty positive card, right? Now, it looks like you could expect to do a little bit of traveling uh, involved with work or business. Eh, I don't know, we're just talking about one day out and perhaps this could uh, ooze on over into, uh, you know, the week or something. But for the day, uh, you look very positive. Okay, now this card reminds us of the magic that lies just beneath the surface of everyday life. So you look deeply at good things going on for you. Let's see what's on the next card. Okay, again, we've got pentacles. Two pentacles in a row. Well, I guess we're talking money here. 
So it looks like uh, you should be seeking practical and tangible solutions, right? You may come up with uh, some kind of a strategy, uh, a business plan of some sort, that sort of thing. Uh, perhaps something involved with coworkers or employees uh, to implement more effectively what you do, right? And possibly on the home front, your family's looking for the same kind of guidance from you. So there you go. Now, that's a very good positive card. So we're looking at positive things financially. Now remember, this is a short, quick reading for the day. So you draw from it what chimes with you and what doesn't, let it lie. Because this is for a lot of people at one time, right? Many people who are cancer. Okay, let's look at the third card. All right, now here's something we've got. The Five of Cups. Okay, so there's no way around it. This card is about disappointment, regret, and loss, right? It sometimes refers to an individual who has trouble releasing the past or has experienced an emotional loss that led to complete absorption in sorrow, right? Well, the bottom line is that it's time to pick up the pieces and move forward. So apparently there may have been something kind of dragging you down, hanging over your head. And it looks like this is a great day to just let that go, release it, pick up the pieces, move forward and look for brighter things coming. So you've got a nice day, looks like financially, positively, and a good day to break free of some of the old hubbub that's been haunting you. Okay, and that's all I got for you, Cancer. Okay, so Leo, the cards have been shuffled quite a bit already, but I'll shuffle them a little bit more just because you can't really shuffle enough. So... Let the tarot tell us what's coming up next. Okay, Leo, here we go. So we've got one, two, three cards for you. Now, if you'd like a more in detailed, longer reading uh, for a greater length of time, what have you, or a specific problem, of course, just use the email address at the top right of the screen and talk to me. Okay, so let's see. First card, what do we have here? Okay, now we're looking at the Four of Swords. Okay, so incarceration is the literal meaning of this card, believe it or not, right? Now it can mean uh, all kinds of things that could be restrictive, right? Uh, you're restricted, uh, perhaps you go to a clinic and you have to stay there longer than you thought. Uh, perhaps, you know, a jail term, it could be anything. It also, is a period of rest and recuperation. So you need to, on this day, seriously consider looking at giving yourself a break. Now you may not have to stay in bed all day, but we're talking a mental break, right? Let yourself calm down and just kind of do a little mental convalescence and time away from normal life. Cards are telling me that you could really use a little break for the day. Let's move on to the next card, see what we have here. Okay, again, we're looking at swords, this time the Six of Swords. Now, the swords in a tarot reading stand for things like communication, action, intelligence, left brain thinking, strife and challenges, ideas that are about to appear in your life. Okay, so we're looking with wisdom and clarity here with these cards. Good cards for making decisions, that sort of thing. So consider this card a metaphorical gateway through which you journey away from your problems, right? So that chimes well with the Four of Swords. Relax, take a break. Here we're talking about perhaps, uh, you know, mentally getting a journey away from your problems, that sort of thing. So these two cards are running together uh, quite well. So. Uh, 
you know, we're talking about one day here, so that doesn't necessarily mean you should pack up your house and move or anything like that. But in a longer term reading, it could indicate uh, a new home or office, that sort of a thing. Now, uh, that's, uh, you know, these are good things. Apparently, you need a little rest, right? And uh, this represents a turning point. You get rested up, what happens, right? Okay, let's go on to the third card. See what Leo's got here. Again, swords. Oh my goodness. This is unusual to draw three cards, all swords, and they're actually in sequence, right? So we got four, six, eight, like that. Now the eight of swords, the eight of swords, it's saying, well, you know, you're holding yourself back from living life to the fullest. Right? You project your fears and innovations into your surroundings. Then you view them as obstacles. Now, thinking about that, you want to consider not saying things like, I can't, and yes, but, because nothing will change if you do that. So here we're saying, hey, get rested up. Here we're saying, you're going to get rested up and you need to overcome some obstacles by getting rested up, right? Okay, so that's what I see coming up for this day. Of course, uh, if you contact me, you can get a longer reading if you so desire. Gonna shuffle the cards a little bit more here. I've already done a lot of shuffling. A little more is always a little better. So we'll get these done up here. I'm not gonna go crazy with this, but it makes me feel better. All right, so let's get down three cards and see what's going on with Virgo for, for the day. All right, first card over. Okay, justice. So what I'm seeing here with justice is things like legal problems wane. Uh, perhaps there's a judgment that comes through that's in your favor, that kind of thing. Um, eh, we could say perhaps daily life activity may be suspended until a judgment is reached. It's all about judgment, right? So uh, what you've been waiting for, expect it to materialize. Conflicts are resolved, harmony reigns, that sort of thing, okay? So we're looking at something that you're gonna receive a fair deal in return, all right? Now remember, general reading. So what does chime with you in this reading? Great, what doesn't, let it go. So let's see. And if you like a more detailed reading, of course, uh, hit me with that email address in the top right corner of your screen and you get a longer, more detailed reading. Now we've got the star. Okay, the star is another major arcana card. Now looking at the star here, we're thinking that uh, everything works the way it should. You, you achieve pretty much what you're looking towards, right? Wholeness, unity, that sort of thing. And now you need to slow your confidence and beliefs in your goals. I don't mean slow them, I mean show them. Show your confidence, all right? And um, it, it's, a, it's an inspiring card, it's a good one. You should have a good day coming up with this, all right? Now, let's go on to the third card. Again, three major arcana in a row. That's, uh, hmm, I don't know, I guess that's just what's happening today, huh? It's not that usual. Okay, so we've got the Empress. Now, with the Empress, this card tells you that your life swells with abundance, right? Uh, you're a, likely you're the sort of a person who's a nurturer, takes in strays, you like to ease other people's pain, uh, help soothe anxieties, that sort of a thing. Now, you may not be that way every day, but this card indicates that on this day, that's the way you're going to be working, or you should be working, right? Uh, try to be a good listener and an excellent counselor. Perhaps someone's going to be approaching you with some issues that you can help work through with them, right? So, 
Uh, very nice here. We're talking about your home is a sacred place, so perhaps you're going to want to stay around home a little bit more than normal. Um, so that's your day. That's what we got coming together here. So it looks like a, a good day for you. Pretty darn nice and straightforward in a good way. So let's see what's coming up for you here on this day. So the cards have been shuffled already, but I'm going to throw in a little bit more just because I think in this case more is better. Okay, nothing extreme, but some more. All right, let's see what the tarot has to say for Libra. So we're going to take three cards. Now, if you'd like a longer, more detailed reading, of course, contact me via the email address that you see up in the upper right corner of the page or of the screen. So here we go, short and sweet. So first card up, we've got the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups represents something new is born into your life, uh, right? So perhaps there's something you've been working on that's finally going to come through for you it might be something unexpected that you've had on the back burner. And finally, it's going to come through. And we're talking things that could be like finances, take an upward swing, that sort of a thing, right? Now, this is just a one-day read, so we're not really looking out to the month, the year, that sort of a thing. But here we go for that day. Now, take from this reading what chimes with you, all right? And if it doesn't, let it go. Now, next card we got up here is Temperance. Okay, one of our friends from the Major Arcana. Okay, now, Temperance tells us that tranquility comes to you through your ability to maintain harmony and balance because you can successfully blend opposites. So it looks to me like you're going to need to uh, do a little thinking. You're going to have a little bit of the negative, a little bit of the positive, but you're going to be in a situation for this day that you can work them out together and actually come out on top of the situation, right? So, uh, you know, don't surrender yourself to someone else's agenda. Go ahead and work things out. Maybe a little bit of compromising, tolerance for other people's opinions, but overall, you're going to work it out. Compromise is a big word, right? Might have to use a little compromising but it's going to work out in your favor. So the third card, there we go. We've got the Ten of Cups. Okay, now the Ten of Cups tells us about, um, you know, generally it's supposed to be a happy family card. It represents joy, contentment, and that sort of thing in personal relationships. Uh, things that are permanent, you know, enduring success, complete happiness, all that sort of thing. Now, that's, that's quite a positive, quite a positive get-together there. So this card does focus mostly on domestic bliss, right? But it can appear in any situation where you reach a high level of fulfillment and security. So you should look toward that this day and really try to enjoy the good things you've got going on in that category, right? Okay, so that's all I've got for Libra for today. All right, Scorpio, here we go. Let's see what's coming up for you on this day. So do a little more shuffling of the cards. Get ourselves a good mix in here. See what the tarot puts up for you. Okay, let's see. So I'll draw three cards. Three cards for Scorpio. Okay. Now the first card up. Okay. Well, we've got the Six of Wands. Now the Six of Wands is known as a victory card, right? And it relates to a successful completion of a task, a project. Could be a business venture. So it shows that you've come uh, I should say that you've overcome some obstacles, right? Triumph is nearly upon you. 
So it's kind of like you've been through some hard times and now you're returning triumphant and basically you're getting all the accolades that, hey, great job, good job. So it looks to me like you're going to come on to some completion, some really good movement forward here on this day. Let's see what the next card is going to tell us. Okay, we got the hero font. So, okay, so the hero font, uh, it tells you that you come up against powers that be. Could be religious, corporate, family, that sort of a thing, right? And what you do here is it shows that you're going to clarify your own position, right? So you're going to take some things in an orthodox manner and you're going to uh, devise your guidance and move forward. Ultimately, you're going to make your own decisions, which is quite a positive thing, right? So here you go, you're triumphant, you're feeling good, you're making some positive decisions. Now we're talking about one day, right? So if you wanna project further out, get a more in-depth reading, contact me via the email at the top right corner of the screen. We'll see what we can do. Okay, now here's something that's an interesting follow-up card, all right? We've got the Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords represents an empty victory is at hand, right? You win, but you're thinking, was it worth the effort? Is this really what you wanted? So you should examine your motives. Like, why were you in this confrontation? So over here, we're talking about how nice things are going, making good decisions. But you know, like the afterthought, you got to consider, is what I'm doing really worth my time and effort? Am I getting out of this situation what I put into it, right? You still came out ahead, you're the winner, but was it really worth it? So that's a nice blend in this reading. That's all I've got for you this day. Okay, Sagittarius, we're gonna do another down and dirty shuffling of the cards. Get ourselves positioned well. Now this is a short reading. We're just looking at the day here. So take from it what you think chimes with you. If it doesn't, just let it go, all right? This is for a day if you'd like something more in depth and longer, contact me via the email at the top right corner of the screen. Okay, so here we go. Sagittarius, got our three cards up here. <clears throat> okay, what are we looking at? For you, we've got the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Okay, so what we're looking at here, we're looking at uh, practical uh, idealism, right? Finances, education, uh, uh, primary in your life right now, right? But we're just talking a day out. So we got to, you know, trim that down to thinking about a day. Now, this day could be the start of something further on down the road, but I'm trying hard to focus on one day. Okay, so what are you going to get out of this? Let's see. We're talking about, oh, let's see. Uh, it, it looks to me like you're going to have a lot of enthusiasm, so much that it could infect others to carry you uh, into the direction you'd like to go, perhaps assist you with your work, right? So you could expect messages regarding money, uh, even contract negotiations, all forms of financial wheeling and dealing. Because we are talking about pentacles and we're talking about a page. And a page is uh, someone basically that's stepping out, taking a leap of faith. They have the great intentions, but maybe not so much experience and ability, but they're really trying hard, right? Okay, let's go on to the next card. Again, pentacles. Okay, so now we've got the nine of pentacles. Now, this tells us that you're likely to achieve uh, material comfort, financial security, a sense of inner peace, right? And just looking at the card, you can see it speaks to that, right? Now, you don't depend upon constant companionship to make you feel complete. So this is something where 
you can kind of hash out what's going on around you, come to a peace of mind all on your own, okay? And that's you. Now, if this doesn't chime with you, release it, because this is for many people at one time who fall under Sagittarius. Okay, now, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, what's the Wheel of Fortune tell us about your upcoming day? So we've got, mm, let's see, I would say, uh, it looks to me like you're going to be reaching a turning point. Now, I could say a turning point in your life, or in a really short term, we're talking about a day, right? But this could be the day where you reach a turning point in your life. But I would say it's something that's more short term, not so long far out. Okay, so it looks like you're, uh, you're going to find stability, okay? And perhaps some change coming up. Maybe you'll feel like taking a bit of a gamble on something, not literally going to a casino, but something you've been kind of uh, hashing about in your mind that you decide, eh, let's go for it. Let's go ahead and try it. And you're going to have some unexpected events to take your cues from, that's going to give you a little bit more to think about and kind of lean toward you pursuing your dreams, right? So follow your intuition and don't let fear block your progress, all right? That's the thing we're coming up with here. So you're going to profit by going with the flow, whatever that may be. So take this for what it's worth, a short one day reading. Uh, what works for you, great. What doesn't chime with you, just let it go, pick out what works for you, okay? All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to move on now. And Capricorn, going to shuffle the cards a bit more here. Make sure we're on track. Okay, so we got a one day reading. Down and dirty, short and sweet. If you'd like something longer, contact me via the email address you see in the top right corner of the screen. And you get a more detailed, longer reading. Okay, so let's see what we're doing here for Capricorn. Okay, so we start out with King of Cups. Okay, so the King of Cups, uh, we're looking at something, you know, Cups basically relates to love. That's what everybody always thinks, right? So we're talking about something that could be romantic, right? Uh, and it could even just be something as far as a birthday. You care about someone and you look forward to getting involved with their birthday. So emotions uh, can also seesaw between evasiveness and bluntness, that sort of thing. So you want to kind of watch your personality here. Make sure you're not stepping on anyone's feelings, right? So you just want to, want to think about what you're going to say before you say it. Because actually, good opportunity, good day to do something really nice for someone. However, if you don't go about it right, you may be hurting someone's feelings. So think hard about that. Okay, next card up, another major arcana. Or not another, I should say, but a major arcana. We've got temperance. So here temperance is talking about or you know, represents tranquility. Uh, it comes to you through your ability to maintain harmony and balance because you can successfully blend opposites, right? Now, we're talking here about the love and being nice to people. Be careful what you say. Here, we're talking about blending opposites to make sure things work out your own way. Yeah, okay. So, uh, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Perhaps something's coming up on this day for you that's going to involve this. Now let's look at the third card. Now what does chime with you here? You know, think about it. What doesn't, let it go. Because uh, these short readings like this, they cover, you know, there are many people who are uh, Capricorn. All right, so we've got the Page of Cups. Now, the Page of Cups talks about uh, something new is born in your life. Now here we got the King of Cups, we've got the Page of Cups, right? So we got a little bit of a trend going here. And could be something like some kind of a book deal idea that you've been working on 
perhaps uh, rolls over, finally it spills your way, you know, things seem to go well for you. Uh, could be uh, business expenses, finances, that sort of thing, take an upward swing, meaning positive, right? Okay, and we're just looking at one day, so it looks to me like you've got a pretty, pretty good day laid out for you. Just be careful in how you're talking to people. That's what I take away from this. Okay, Capricorn, that's all I've got for this today. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what's happening for you for this upcoming day. So I've already done a lot of shuffling, and I'm going to do a little bit more, because in this case, more is better. Okay. So let's see what we get. Bring up our three cards. Okay, first card up. Ah, the magician. All right. So what's the magician going to do for you on this fine, fine day? Hmm, well, I would say you've got some seemingly magical influences that come into your life. Now, we're talking about one day, right? But it should be a nice day where you're, you've got your intuition flowing. You kind of invent some solutions to your most pressing problems. You're able to work through things easier than you normally would, right? You're probably going to see some synchronicities that point to a deeper order and a little more organization going on around you, all right? So take that for what it's worth. Now, the reading is for many people who are Aquarius, so some things may chime with you here and some may not. Pick out what does and concentrate on that. Okay, next card up is a Queen of Wands. Okay, so we're looking, uh, what can the Queen of Wands tell us here? It looks like uh, pretty much that your, your life right now focuses on work, uh, possibly spiritual beliefs. Okay, we're talking about one day, right? But that's a, a good day for it, a positive day for those things. And you're going to find yourself filled with new ideas that you're anxious to implement. And a yeah, pretty positive situation there, all right? Now, that goes well with this. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, let's go on to the third car. See what we've got. Okay, and again, if you'd like a longer, more detailed reading, uh, contact me via the email address you see at the top right corner of your screen. Now we've got the Nine of Swords. Hmm. Now the Nine of Swords, it leans toward worry and anxiety. Right? That's really the literal meaning of this. So, uh, it talks about, oh, you can go into sleepless nights, stress-induced nightmares, things of that nature, okay? Mental anguish, depression, that sort of thing. But what it really comes to is you getting the negative ideas you have in your head in order. And you really mull them over and get them pushed out. Take the opportunity to think about the things that are bothering you and then do what you need to do to get them out of your mind, right? So it's a good time for a little mental house cleaning here, it looks like, for this day. Okay, and that's all I've got for you, Aquarius. Okay, Pisces, let's see what's coming up for you on this upcoming day. So, a little more shuffling of the cards. Get the old tarot on track here. Okay, concentrating on Pisces for the day. All right, let's bring up three cards and see what that's going to do for us. Okay, down and dirty one day reading here. Okay, what do we start out with? The lovers. Okay, so the lovers 
tell us about things like new relationships just around the corner. Uh, perhaps a current relationship is about to go through some big changes, things of that nature. So you might feel divided about a major issue or relationship in your life, right? So that's something uh, to consider. In other words, be a little careful in the world of relationships, all right? There might be something bubbling that you're going to have to kind of walk gently around and uh, look, see what's happening. Remember, one day reading, so I'm not saying, you know, a month, a year out or something. If you'd like a reading that is more detailed and longer, of course, contact me at the email address top right of the screen. Now, we're looking at the Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Wands, it's, it tells us things like that you're poised on a threshold of success, right? Your past efforts are starting to pay off, things of that nature. So perhaps you're even reaching an important milestone. We're only talking a day out though. So it might not be something huge, but it might be the first step in the direction of something bigger further on down the road, right? But you are on solid ground and apparently you've developed a new confidence concerning your long-term plans. So that's great. Stay focused. Stay focused, all right? That's what this card is telling you to do. Okay, so we got the lovers, we got the three of wands, stay focused, be careful with your relationships. Let's go over to the third card. And we're looking at temperance. Now temperance talks about tranquility comes to you through your ability to maintain harmony and balance, right? Because you can successfully blend opposites. So. I would say that probably speaks well with this, okay? So you want to use the temperance card to help modify the lover's card. Make sure you're getting along well, you're thinking before you're speaking, friends, family, love, you know, uh, you know uh, the love of your life, that sort of thing, all right? So now that's what we've got for a one day reading for Pisces. And that concludes today's reading.